Hi Ari, it's Travson here and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode we finished up some quests in Westfall. We almost hit level 19. Today we're going to continue our journey in Westfall. We're going to pick up some new quests. Hopefully get a little bit more of a challenge going. And I was also warned to watch out for a griefer who supposedly brings an elite dragon by the name of Terramis... Terminus the Devourer from the Blasted Lands. And I got this warning from Denim Angel and Misty Mountain Gaming. So shout out to those guys for warning me about that. And hopefully I do not run into them. Supposedly they like to kite them to Westfall and also Stormwind. I've also I've heard about the Stormwind kiting, but I kiting to Stormwind, but never uh, to Westfall, so. Hopefully we do not run into any griefers today. But if it happens, it happens. Also, some big news occurred. Um, Blizzard, Activision Blizzard, I should say, got acquired by Microsoft for almost $70 billion. Just a, a little under $70 billion. Well, I guess it's not really a little under. It's like a, a, over a billion under. But, um... Yeah, Xbox has acquired Activision Blizzard. So not only does Microsoft and Xbox have Bethesda games now, which is like Skyrim and Fallout and all those awesome franchises, but now they also have Activision Blizzard, which is Call of Duty, Diablo, StarCraft, World of Warcraft, Overwatch, Hearthstone, Candy Crush, so many different games. So yeah, big move by Microsoft. Supposedly, Sony's uh, stock price went down after that news. So, yeah, Microsoft making some big news, big moves, and I think this is going to be pretty good for fans of Blizzard games, because I also do like many Microsoft Xbox titles as well. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping that the... Uh, they combine the Xbox Game Pass maybe with the WoW subscription. That would be awesome. I wouldn't even mind paying a little bit more. Like maybe a little bit more as long as I'm getting a little bit more of a deal on the Xbox Game Pass. Or maybe I just got to buy the Xbox Game Pass at its current price and I get a WoW sub with that. That would be insane. Need help? Alright, so we got a bunch of quest givers over, over here. Patrolling Westfall. Captain Denuvin. Stormwind is, has abandoned us. A foul wind of depravity rustles through the plains of Westfall. This was my homeland, and I will not turn my back on the citizens who choose to remain here. We, the former farmers, shall make our stand. Your task, should you choose to accept, is to patrol the grasslands of Westfall, track down and slay the vile gnolls that seem to be working in conjunction with the deadmind thieves. Bring me eight null paws and I will reward your bravery. So we need to get eight Have a good one. null paws. So that's what we will do today. But yeah, back to uh, the Blizzard acquisition. I'm actually pretty damn pumped about that. And uh, it's really good for Microsoft. I think they got it. I don't know if the price was good. Like I don't really know what Activision Blizzard's worth. I guess the the stock has been plummeting, so I guess they probably got it at a reasonable price due to uh, what has been going on with Blizzard. And um, I think it was a good acquisition by Microsoft because the way I look at Blizzard games and uh, and, and just WoW in general, the fans of the of this game are like are pretty diehard. I kind of compare it to, like, uh, being a Toronto Maple Leafs fan. I don't know if you guys know who the Toronto Maple Leafs are. It's my favorite hockey team. And uh, it's a shame being a Leafs fan. They haven't won in over 60 years. And uh, But they always sell out. The arena is always full. And the fans are delusional. But they keep on, you know, paying for the product no matter how bad it is. And that is pretty much what you have with uh, Blizzard fans. Like, 
it doesn't matter how bad the product is. Fans of Blizzard titles will just buy it. They don't. <laughs> they don't care. They'll buy in even if it sucks. Just for the hope that it's decent. And I'm. Uh, I'm guilty of that. Maybe that'll change in the future, but I don't know. We'll see. And I think it'll be like that for a while. There's a, there's a big generation of people that really love Blizzard's games and grew up on them, and I'm a part of that generation. So yeah, I think great acquisition by Microsoft. And uh, I hope they tie it into the Xbox Game Pass. The subscription, because that would be kind of cool. Like, Microsoft and Xbox is de totally destroying EA. Like, EA has a Game Pass. It's not even going to be close to as good as uh, Xbox's. The only thing that EA really has on Xbox now is sports games. Like, that's really it. And maybe, like, you know, Need for Speed. All right, so we found the Knolls. And it also seems to be probably easier after this. Gotta watch out for these gnolls. They sometimes they roll in packs, so. I'm gonna try to talk about this as much as I can because I'm actually really excited about it. But I'm also gotta pay attention because this is a hardcore let's play, so I don't wanna die. Yeah, it's going to be good, guys. I, I think it, I'm looking forward to it. And the way I look at it right now with uh, with Blizzard, I think there's there's nowhere else to go but up right now, to be honest. And they've made some pretty good titles. I don't think uh, it's completely over for Blizzard. I think they can turn it around. I got faith. <laughs> that's, and that's going back to what I'm saying, right? You always have that feeling about, about Blizzard, right? When you're that type of fan. No matter how bad they screw up. It's kind of like a delusional belief. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens. And, uh, supposedly Xbox has kind of, uh, escaped the console war crap, crap that they've been dealing with. Everyone's always been like, Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox or PlayStation? And now, uh, Microsoft and Xbox are just like, hey, we're not really rolling with console anymore. We're just gonna go with PC. And if we, we sell a console too, but all of our games are also on PC. So, good luck, PlayStation. That's all I gotta say. PlayStation is in a lot of trouble. But they do have some pretty epic games there on PlayStation, like Final Fantasy, um, God of War, Uncharted. Never played God of War Unchar or Uncharted, but I've heard those games are pretty, pretty damn good. There's some other exclusive I'm, exclusives I'm clearly missing. Do that yet. The thing is, Final Fantasy is kind of on PC now, too, right? You can play Final Fantasy MMO on PC. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped about this. Like, this could... I don't know if they're going to really give us that great of a deal. Like, I'm, I'm honestly, like, what I think is going to happen, or I hope, is they just say, Hey guys, we're not doing the subscription anymore just for WoW. We're going to tie that into the Xbox Game Pass. And the Xbox Game Pass is going to be the same amount. <laughs> That's kind of a dream. 
Could you imagine they do that? They're just like, yeah, we're adding all the Blizzard titles, Call of Duty, all that. All you gotta do, just get the Xbox Game Pass. I would buy that in a second. But I'm a big sucker. But, like, but that would... Like, I already think the, the WoW sub... Like, I'm kind of biased, but I already think the WoW sub is pretty damn good now. Much better than it was five years ago. And I've talked about this before with, uh about like you know we, we get like three expansions now we have classic wow we have tbc and we also have retail we used to only just have retail so i just consider the wow sub yeah it's gone up in price but it's it's much better than it was They're giving us a much better product i think the only problem is is that the retail expansion has kind of been lackluster over the past two expansions with BFA and uh, Shadowlands, it, and to be honest, it ha it it hasn't been that bad. Like it's still a cool game. It's just the problem is is that there's too many of these uh, can't do that yet. like grindy systems that you have to do, Not enough energy. which is just like makes you feel like you're doing homework. Like you don't want really want to go into Torghast every week. They just need to make things a little bit more optional. And I think that's why people like TBC. The classic is because you really can just go at your own pace. And there's no, like, weekly homework you gotta do. Alright, so we dealt with some gnolls. We gotta watch out here. We don't wanna fall down. I don't think we died at... I'm going down there anyways. Gotta watch out here. Could be a guy uh, kiting a dragon to us. Maybe that's what they're imagining. Could you imagine that? These guys are all running from a guy from a dragon. I'd be, I'd be laughing. I'd be popping sprint right away. All right, so we left those gnolls for them. We're gonna move over here and try to find some more gnolls. Maybe we'll go a little bit south, actually. Yeah, we'll go south. I know there's a bunch of gnolls around here, too. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. T to what uh, Xbox does. Because I've always looked at the Xbox Game Pass, and I'm like, ah, it's okay. It's just, it reminds me of the EA one. Like, it's it's okay. It's not, it's not that great. It's a little expensive. Because the thing is, when you buy those Game Passes, you're not playing half of those games. But the way I look at it is, like, I like playing WoW. So, if they tie WoW, the WoW subscription, into the Game Pass, like, I'm already going to be playing WoW regardless. So, if I get more content from that now, that would be insane. That'd be awesome. And I think that's their plan with it. It's kind of like what Amazon does with, uh... With Twitch, Twitch Prime. They added uh, the Twitch Prime stuff. All you gotta do is have an Amazon Prime. And Twitch Prime a just adds that value. So people, if people want Twitch Prime, they gotta sign up for Amazon Prime. And that's pretty much all Twitch Prime is. It's just a, a tool to get people to sign up to Amazon Prime and start buying products from Amazon. I think they might do that with, uh, you know, the, the Blizzard WoW subscription. They could tie that into the Xbox Live Game Pass, and and then your people are just paying attention to Xbox games more. You know what I mean? It's smart. And I always thought, like, why why is Microsoft tied in with uh, consoles? You know, like, the, Microsoft is literally... In, they make operating systems for PCs, like... Like, Microsoft and PCs just go together, like, hand in hand. Like, the, this move makes, a, I don't know, tons of sense. The only thing that I'm scared of is, like, Microsoft has way too much power in gaming now. They, they literally own all the like a lot of the games I like 
which is a little scary. Because I like a lot of the Bethesda titles, too. I'm a fan of Fallout and uh, Skyrim, so... It could be really bad, because if they... They water down all those titles, it would be devastating. But who knows? Hopefully they do well. They also own the, the competitor to Bethesda. They own Obsidian. Which made uh, The Outer Worlds, which is another game I've played on this channel. Because I wanted to try it out, because supposedly it had a lot of developers from, like, Fallout. And they didn't like the way Fallout was going, so they made The Outer Worlds, which was a pretty good game. I, I enjoyed it. I need to target yeah. something first. I'm gonna do this guy. I better watch out, though. I'm really gonna kill this. Energy. Oh, this sucks, dude. Energy. We're alright. Potentially. Not enough energy. No, we're not. Do we run? Can I L us? Oh, don't want to L us. I think we just run. We'll be alright. Alright, well that was interesting. Got a little scary. Gotta watch out while I'm talking about all this stuff, but at least we didn't die there. I knew we would be in a little bit of trouble fighting those two mages. You have a mage casting fireballs in your face. It's gonna hurt, so... Yeah, and, the, and then when they run away, there's... It's like a domino effect, right? Like, I dealt with that one. And then once I dealt... Started dealing with fighting that one, like, say you got into a close fight, she started running away. She'll pull another uh, mob, and then I'll be in tons of trouble. So here's the river pod knolls. This is very dangerous being down here. But I wanted to come down here just to check it out. So we'll look into... Uh, Deal with these guys. It's going to be tough. Knolls like to run as well. We're going to have to be a little picky with our fights. So we're going to be creeping around a bit. Last thing we want to do is get anywhere close to these uh, little camps over here. There, it's looking good as long as we have finisher to deal with this guy. I think I've got another lesser healing potion. Cooldown for that's coming back up pretty soon, so that's good. How are we doing on these null paws? We only got two. Pull this guy away a bit. More bones to gnaw on. As long as we have like an ability to use a little bit of energy to dump it, when we start running away, we should be alright. Like, isn't Gears? Gears is with Xbox too, which is pretty cool. I hope they do that. I hope they tie in the WoW sub with Xbox Game Pass. Another cool game on Xbox with the Game Pass is, uh, I sound like such a shill right now, <laughs> but it's, I, I remember we were, like, I was playing this game with my buddies and we were looking at ways to, to play it, you know, without purchasing it, but I ended up buying it anyways. They got a Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves is just a, a game you get with it, and that's a great game. Uh, the, one of the most fun uh, just pirate exploration slash PvP battling games I've uh, I've ever played. They did a really good job with that game. I assume it's it's, it's a little bit better. I haven't been on in a while and I've probably been updating it. Oh man, this is Got him. Got him before he could run over to his boys. Got two of them here we could probably deal with. 
Oh, there's one ring. Okay, look, these are probably the better ones to go to. You gotta watch out, though. Get him! Get him! Get him! There we go. Enough energy. Oh, no way. It's gonna get. I can't do that. No, that's close. Right, we're probably gonna do like a nice, nice little sap. This is the best thing about being a rogue. So we are able to sap here. Probably sap the one that's closest to. The only thing is I don't have distract yet. So you always want to be behind him when you're sapping. Because that guarantees you're not gonna pull. <laughs> Got him in a sap, so that's good. I'm not a fan of how like, you get taken out of stealth. Sapping class. It kinda kinda sucks. Okay, there we go. Got that. I wish I was undead right now, because then I could uh cannibalize this guy, but it's one of the things I really like about being undead. The thing is, I could do. Can I do shadow meld here? Shadow meld's right. No. I can't do shadow meld in combat. I'll probably start running away soon. Oh, no, no, pause. Kind of rare. Oh, there's the. There's the, the group of five. It's rolling around destroying everything. Are you allowed to do that? Too far. I'm pretty sure that's are these guys hardcore? I you're pretty I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to do that. I can't do that. I'm not gonna be somebody who like gets up so I'm not that type of guy. Like I'm not gonna be like, hey, what are you doing? You know you're not allowed to do that? No, oh, they're all uh They're not hardcore, I don't think. Yeah, they're not. But yeah, so there's like this silly rule. I don't think it's silly. It's, it makes sense. But if you're in a group of five, the only thing you, you... You're not allowed to do anything else but just run to the dungeon. And the only time you're allowed to kill something, kill stuff with a group of five, is when you're on your way to the dungeon and you can't avoid the mob. I think that's the rule. Like, you can't go out of your way to farm mobs in, in the group of five. Which makes sense. If we try to attack this guy, we're most likely, uh... I need to get those. This guy just died in Westfall. I wonder what he died to. So the plan here is we're gonna stab him. I hope he chases us. We're gonna bring him in. Out of way. Too bad that warlock got killed like that. some energy just to finish him off. Yeah, there's no way we can go in there. Maybe if I was like in a duo, you could try that, but gotta have a healer in that group. He died to a Noel. Noel's can't pull one or two, always pulls all of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm dealing with them right now. See, I think I'd pull. Too far away. I think I'd pull. Yep, gone. See you later, alligator. If they net me, I'm dead. Yeah. I'm out of here. Literally just had that happen to me. <laughs> it almost just happened to me. Now I don't have stel uh, sprint, so I'm gonna need to um, chill. Need to just chill out for a bit. I 
think I pull. I don't know. I don't even want to think about that. It's a hundred percent you pull. There's no way you you attack this guy and not pull these guys. Yeah, we'll get out of here. Maybe we can pick that mage royal. Gotta wait for Sprint to get back up. It's literally one of our best cooldowns. It's, like, it's the only way we can get away. Get this Briar Thorn over here. Gotta watch out for these uh, Defias though. Look at all these scarecrow. Look at all these uh, <laughs> crows just hanging out. I almost called them scarecrows. I don't know why I called them calling a bird a scarecrow. They should have some scarecrows in there, though, to scare these crows. They're more vultures, though. But yeah, I think it was a cool touch that they had a bunch of vultures hanging out around a graveyard. I think Halo Infinite's with uh, Microsoft too, obviously, right? Pretty sure. It's kind of sad, but I have not played Halo Infinite yet, even though it's free. It, uh, it's kind of a shame, because I played Halo a lot. Halo 2 and 3, I played a lot. I played a little bit of, uh, I think it's called ODST at the end, but not much. Didn't. That's kind of when I fell off. Stopped playing Halo after that. Played a lot of two, decent amount of three, and then that's pretty much it. So yeah, we, uh, 18 to 19 was three hours and 46 minutes. We've already played one day on this guy. All right, so we leveled up. Let's, uh, get in, get our final rank of precision, which increases our chance to hit by 5%. I think that's, uh, pretty damn big. Keep exploring. Another briar thorn over here. We still need four more null paws. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Halo's with Microsoft Game Pass. Or Microsoft, I mean Xbox. It's always been an Xbox exclusive, so. I haven't thought about the console wars in such a long time, but after this announcement, I've, uh... Thought... Started to appreciate it a bit more, that's for sure. Here there. Hurry, my friend. Move these ha Move with haste in order for our rich... Leg or to taste more like beer, the less like stew. Hops are needed to make the brew. Aw, oh, man. We've been selling our hops. Well, ain't that a shame. Now I know why we should have kept our hops. Well, guys, yeah, good. clearly, uh... I'm a noob when it comes to Alliance requesting. And to Westfall. And I uh, shouldn't have been selling my hops. But if we do get five hops, I'll make sure to make my way over here to uh, deliver that to that dwarf who needs some hops for his beer. Wow. We've got a bunch of Defias Highwaymen here. Mistake. Okay, well, clearly that place is kind of dangerous. Let's 
go up to where this little gnome mage is. And we're gonna have a bite to eat. I'm not going down there. I wanted to check what's over here. Maybe we'll go around to do that. Let's get our buffs back though. Need one more lion. It's not ready yet. Lion strength elixir. Make one of those. There we go. And we're back and back up and ready to go. We still got a power word fortitude, which is good. But yeah, that could have been rough, guys. We didn't have any buffs up. Wasn't paying attention. Okay, so there we go. We found some more gnolls. These guys are this level 16 once. Hopefully we can get our final four here. Hopefully we don't pull these guys. Guy over here. Not enough energy. Can't wait for us to get swords. I need to get closer. Wait for our energy to get back up. Another gnoll coming over here. Looks like these guys use Demo Shout. Melee attack power reduced by 32. Kinda sucks for us. Guess we'll have a bite of this meat. Get our health back up. Yeah, we're almost level 20, guys. A lot of people I usually see in the guild chat have, uh, whenever you hit like 10 levels, it's like, oh, I hit this little milestone or something like that. I didn't do that at level 10, but maybe I'll do it at level 20. This guy just did it at level 10. Two more null paws, guys. This warlock's taking all the easy, uh, easy fights that we want. What if he uh, is a herbalist? Looks like he's not, so we'll take this. for the patrols. It's too far away. Okay. Okay, so we can't see him as Caspar. Kind of sucks. Do have any more like Random pieces of meat here. It's like we don't, so we'll just stick with uh, banishing up. But yeah, we have kick, but we can't see the casts. Forget how to get that to show. I'm gonna have to figure that out. We gotta like add that in classic. Kick that. Away a little bit, watch her back. Keep that. I 
But yeah, a lot of close calls today. A lot of them. A lot of close calls. I need to get closer. I can't do that yet. Says level 18. With the shield. It'll be alright. I got a lot of buffs. Refresher. As long as we got slice and dice, we be good. I can't do that yet. And there we go. It's our final null paw. Now we just gotta go north to Sentinel Hill. I deal with this guy to get this briar thorn though. I'm gonna wait for our health to get up. Pull him just over here. The thing is, if they like dodge or parry a lot of our attacks like that, these fights can get kind of close like they are right here. Thing they run. Not enough energy. But yeah, that's the thing. Like every just because you defeat one mob, it doesn't mean that like it's like the same level. It doesn't mean the next fight's gonna be the same. Like if they start dodging and parrying the majority of your attacks, you could be in a lot of trouble. All right, I think we can just make a run for it here. No pop sprint. I don't think we're gonna run into anything too scary. These flesh rippers could be a little rough. As long as we don't run into those like tornado dudes, there's like a tornado thing that like flies around here. Yeah, it was pretty good. Interested to see how much uh, XP we get from the quest. I think we might get a little bit. Arc Angelic. Cool name for a priest. Yeah, that was close. We had some close calls. A little too excited about the, the acquisition. It could end up being pretty bad, but I consider it to be good news. What can I do for you? Have you collected a pause from those treacherous knolls yet? Well done, 007. With valiant adventurers such as yourself fighting alongside the People's Militia, Westfall just might return to the prosperous breadbasket it once was. Please accept this recognition of your tireless efforts. All right, so we're gonna get a male waste that we can sell. See you around. Could have took the racers. I don't know. I think our leather ones are probably better. All right, guys. So we got a little bit of XP for that. Turn in a little bit over a bar. Yeah, we're gonna hearth back to good old Stormwind. And uh, next episode, we'll probably come back here and continue questing in Westfall. Clearly, um, the quests are now more, much more of a challenge. We had some close calls today, so... Gotta be a little bit more alert. But, that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.